Hello everyone, and welcome back to all the mods, Gravitas, and as you can see, we are back on the server. Um, the last player that was online just uh, hopped off, so I'm free to manipulate time to uh, to get these beautiful sunrises. <laughs> um, so, we're, we're back on the server. Uh, since the last episode especially, there are a lot more bases, or at the very least, a lot more claims, because I am aware that in this pack specifically, there is a big pull towards... Um, like claiming a little spot, right? You find a mine, you claim it, right? Like all these little tiny little spots. I'm, I'm sure what I'm sure that's what they are, but I'm imagining some of these bigger ones are in fact uh, some new bases to look at, and obviously some way down over there. Which I think <laughs> this one may have even been here before. I think uh, Sereni told me in the comments that their base was down there, and I was looking here, and I'm like, oh, there's no base down here. But I think it was just further. Anyway, uh, we're gonna do pretty much what we've been doing in the last ones because I'm really enjoying it for this pack. Is that the progression is so difficult and or so slow that we can see the progression in between these episodes. Normally, people's bases, they're just done. You know what I mean? But in this pack, you get a lot of progression. So this is the same base that we checked out in the very first episode that we checked out these bases. We've only done two other ones, but um, we can obviously see a little bit of the progression happening, including a lot more stuff in the foyer, or I guess the front uh, yard, courtyard. <laughs> I'm just making up words. Or I'm using words that exist, but using them for my own biddings. Um, and then we've even got, oh, a graveyard, oh, a graveyard over there. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something, but something, uh, you know, functional or something, but it, it's a graveyard. To be fair, these actually are pretty functional, uh, potentially. I'll, we'll, we'll have a look at that in a second and I'll talk about it. Um, we'll obviously check out some new bases as well, um, and we'll go around and do all that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, <laughs> well, first of all, last episode, there was this big roof and whatnot, but there was nothing up here. There was no, um, uh, was there stuff up here? I don't think there was, um, but there definitely was not this like um, balcony, which is very beautiful. Um, looking out over the edge here, playing with shaders, pretty much anywhere you slap a window in, you get your money's worth <laughs> for the most part because the view is, I mean, it's nice. It, it, it's quite nice indeed. Um, anyhow, so yeah, a bunch of storage. These are rosewood chests. I've never seen a rosewood tree, but the, the chests look pretty cool. Um, out the back here, we have... I'm imagining that these are like um, charcoal pits underneath each of these bits of dirt, which makes sense. Um, I probably should be doing a similar thing. Um, what I will say is these trees, like finding an, yeah, finding an oak tree forest, clearly your money's worth. Like, look at the amount of wood you're gonna get from these trees. You can probably make so many, uh, so many charcoal pits and whatnot. Um, so I imagine that's what this is. We've got some logs being stored up over there. Um, now this is new. Obviously, we have an actual windmill. The first windmill I've seen, this is from Immersive Engineering. Um, and honestly, look at how beautiful it actually looks with um, with shaders on. Um, because the shaders also add some effects to the uh, to the texture, so you can see they're very detailed. If I toggle my shaders off, you can see it goes back to just being 16 by 16. Yeah, you know what? Immersive Engineering, they kind of just make their blocks look good regardless, because it still looks pretty good. Ah, but that looks better. <laughs> um, so anyway, down here, we've got a metal press. So this is obviously, um, we've seen this a few times when we've looked at the different uh, plates and stuff that we need. Um, plates or sheets, are they? I'm not too sure. Possibly sheets? No, maybe I'm wrong. We've definitely, yeah, here we go. So for like um, silver sheets, for example, we've seen this, a metal press um, can turn two sheets into a double sheet. And that saves you from needing to weld it, I believe. Because um, yeah, otherwise you'd have to weld it. Uh, so the benefit of that is, if this guy can do it, you don't need to make that good of an anvil, or at the very least, you don't need to heat up the blocks. It, it's faster, right? It's faster, and it's better, and it's easier. Maybe not faster, but definitely easier. Um, so this is actually connected with a with a cable. You can see the wire going in there. It's splitting off and doing a bunch of other stuff. Um, so in here, there's actually a few other machines. We've got a redstone furnace uh, for obviously smelting. We have a flux compactor here with a chest on top and a hopper going down here. We can sneak peek. Apparently nothing in there, but... Oh, it's actually... Oh! Huh? <laughs> it's got little bits of um, hematite in there. I am curious. If we search hematite for an example, can you actually combine them together? Oh! Seven poor hematite... Hematite? Hematite? Yeah, ha hematite. <laughs> Gives you one raw iron. But why do you want that? Seven poor... Okay, so that's 105 millibuckets. So are you telling me you lose a millibucket or can you then double this? Is that what they're getting at? Crushed ore? I, uh, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. Yeah, okay. 
If it sounds like you're losing out a little bit, but maybe it's worth it. Oh, you know what? I, I kind of get it because as you can see here, there's no way to just smelt this stuff, but you can smelt the um, ore. So that's where this comes into play. You can actually just smelt the ores instead of doing the whole melting process with charcoal and all that stuff. So you might get a little bit of a loss, but it's probably worth it um, time-wise. Oh, I haven't added a uh, rosewood door. So let, you know what? Let me do that real quick. Because I don't know if you guys have seen the fun you can have. Uh, I, I added a, a physics mod to my game. It's, it should be linked in the description. If it's not for whatever reason, let me know. But I'm going to add a door. I'm going to add the rosewood door. And then check out this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Endless fun. <laughs> I genuinely, this is like one of my favorite features in the entire thing. Um, anyway, uh, what do we have out here? So we've obviously got the uh, the charcoal forge down here. Um, so the forge down there with the uh, crucible on top, a little bit of an airway through there. Bellows to get it extra hot, I'm guessing. Uh, inside here is a bloomery. Yep. Uh, the bloomery looks really cool. I haven't seen it in action. I imagine this closes or something when you put something in. I don't know, but, but it's there and it looks cool. Um, oh, there's even some tool racks. Nice. I, yeah, sure. Why not? Over here, we have a blast furnace. There it is, with a crystal underneath and a bellows, of course. And then we have some uh, machines over here, or I guess some more multi-blocks. Another blast furnace, but this one from Immersive Engineering. And then the coke oven that I'm still trying to get my hands on. We've got to put a little bit of effort in, but we'll get there. Um, so <laughs> I think that's this base for the most part. Um, obviously, there's the stuff out here. So there's the beautiful graveyard um, over in this area with a lovely oak tree in the middle. Um, now, graves. I don't know if it's doing it... Obviously, when we look around, it doesn't really seem to. Um, but what used to happen, or depending on which grave you place down, it can gather a soul around it. And I believe that just happens based on time. That, that's my understanding. And then when you die and you have that key for your grave, if you right-click on one of the graves that have a soul in it, it'll absorb the soul onto the key, and then you can teleport to your grave point. Um, so they're extremely beneficial uh, for actual gameplay, assuming, of course, that uh, these graves actually work that way. But I don't, I don't see any souls. So I'm not too sure. They're usually like a little wisp. That go oh, you can't see them with shaders on. Yeah. So look, each, each one of these has that little wisp. Um, I'm going to have to remember to get these. I, I bookmarked them even though these don't show up in uh, my other world, uh, my single player. What are these, by the way? Demon eyes. They look very, uh, very nice. <laughs> um, all right. So back out here. The walls, by the way, are chalk and then a pine door. The chalk looks nice. I do like that. Um, so down here, I, I could add the trap door, but it's fine for now. Ooh, I didn't, ex I didn't expect this. Okay, we've got basalt bricks. Oh, here's some of those rosewood planks really getting their money's worth. Um, and this must be the blood magic room. Yeah, there looks like a lot of progression going on down here. Oh my God. What? Oh, this is... Oh, I, the, what I love about seeing this is going to be coming back again for another episode and checking out this exact same base again. I haven't even said, by the way, this is um, Malizzi's base. Uh, I, I sort of didn't say it because I guess I've said it every other time and I, I, sh I knew what it, I knew who base, who, I knew who base it was. <laughs> I, I knew whose base it was, but um, obviously you guys didn't. Um, but yeah, this is Malizzi's base. Um, oh, this room looks crazy. So this is a ritual, I believe, or, or at least a ritual put this together would be my guess. And so it's an inversion pillar. I, I don't know what that does, but... The, the aesthetic of the entire area is very, very beautiful. Blood Magic obviously already having that sort of um, basalt and red look to it. Um, so in here, this is, I think, a work in progress room, judging by the walls not being all red and stuff. But even even then, it looks really good. Like, it genuinely looks... And, and I think this is part of how the pack works. It looks like a room being carved out. You know what I mean? Like, a, like the progression to making the room. As opposed to just... I don't know. I feel, I feel like vanilla Minecraft, it's very much like, all right, room is perfectly cleared. Now blocks are placed. Whereas in this pack, there's, I don't know, it's a little bit harder to get everything done. I think you need to build a little bit to hold the stuff and to keep the light sources up. Um, so this is obviously a blood magic uh, blood altar that's happening down here. A little bit of a, oh, it's actually a hot spring there. I wonder if that um, regenerates health. And so you can spam to uh, put blood into the altar. A bunch of uh, sacrifice runes, some uh, capacity runes. Yeah. And then an altar over there. Very cool. Oh, what, what, a, what a fun experience. Um, so, so yeah, we'll be able to check this out again um, in the near future, I imagine. All right. I, I really like the hanging lights and stuff. Or, or, or whatever they're meant to be. Um, I guess they're not really lights, but I, I do like them. Um, sweet. Cool. <laughs> so we'll head back up. Um, next is this area over here, which I guess is the farm barn. The farm barn. 
Um, so we've got some support beams here. I don't necessarily think these are doing anything aside from visual and I respect it. It lo looks very nice. Um, the structure itself looks really, really good as well. The roof is done nicely. I think, I think it works. It's uh, even these arches. Yeah. That's a, that's a smart idea. <laughs> Whenever I do a design like this, I'm like, Hmm, dude, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it just looks absolutely shocking or it's just completely flat. But yeah, adding these, uh, little, little waves makes it look really nice. Um, so what do we have? We've got sheep. Cows, uh, 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 not sure. Oh, that's in the ground. I was going to pick that up and put it in the chest. Not sure what th that room's for. Maybe just a middle. Oh yeah. Maybe you go in here and then you go to the different rooms so that they don't just run out. That, yeah, that's, that's smart. <laughs> and then we obviously have our packets for our wool. Very, very beneficial, especially for that windmill uh, over there. Um, and then we have chicken coop and the chicken coop looks like a chicken coop. Job well done. Yeah, oh, and there's little little nest boxes that you can reach from the door. And the chickens are actually ducks. Or, sorry, they're drakes. Drakes and ducks. Drakes and ducks and chickens. <laughs> and hopefully no Millie Bobby Browns. But you didn't hear that from me. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's a beautiful face. Let's jump to the next one um, while we still can. So, here we have T47 Killer's Claim. The name seems familiar, so I'm wondering if they were in the comments of the last one. Or... Maybe... Or on Discord. I'm not too sure. Um, but the name seems familiar. And yet here we are. And I don't see anything. <laughs> um, some of these claims. This might even just be like the whole ravine claim. If you know what I mean? Um, for some resources. I'm not too sure. Uh, oh, there is something over here. I think it's just a villager. Little villager hut. Yep. Alright. Well, anyway. I, I could be doing this honestly all day. <laughs> um, so I'll be back once we find a base. Alrighty. We've got another base here. This is Mr. Zeke's base. That's, I'm guessing how that's pronounced. Uh, and once again, buy some nice source of water because you, you do need to drink quite often in this game. So it is uh, quite beneficial. There's a creepy looking ice cave that actually has some structure in there. So I'll see if I can remember to look over there uh, soon. Obviously, we've got a nice little farm here. Spaced out nicely as well so that some crops, uh, assuming the right temperature, can grow all the way back there. Um, what is this, by the way? Oh, paths. I don't know if I've seen paths. Maybe other bases had paths. I, I never realized. They actually look quite nice. Um, and then obviously here's the base. So we've got some barrels with some stuff in it. Um, the base itself's made out of oak with the chestnut stairs. The icicles down the side are always, blah, 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 are always really nice. Uh, a charcoal pit in the ground. That, that's pretty cool. I think most people have built them above ground, myself included. So this one actually stands out a little bit. Um, some utensils on the ground. That's a smart idea. I should, I should start doing that. I keep putting mine back in a chest that's like around the corner. That, that makes a lot more sense. I, even maybe better than putting them in the chest itself. I'm not sure. Because I guess, you know, quick access. It's pr pretty good. Oh, putting the ingots on the ground as well. I, I keep forgetting to do that. Um, what do we have around here? Um, it's the back of the house. Who would have thought? <laughs> um, anyhow, we'll head on in. Um, obviously, there's a nice tree there. And a, a lonely chair to look over into the beautiful ocean. Like that is, that's very nice. Um, anyhow, we'll head in. Oh, what door is this? Oak door. I have to. Listen. <laughs> Alright. There we go. <laughs> I listen. Hey, I paid I paid good money for this. <laughs> I'm getting my money's worth. Um, anyhow, here we are inside. Um, some oak supports holding the base up, or you're holding the roof up, which looks very nice. I still I don't even know if you need to do this. I I feel like this stuff doesn't fall. But I like that it's there regardless, because I don't know either, and I probably will do a similar thing. Maybe. <laughs> the only reason I wouldn't do this is because I'm, if I'm being stingy with my resources. Um, but yeah, we've got some beautiful glass uh, windows here as opposed to different materials as windows. <laughs> I guess you could have like a wooden frame or something. Um, oh, a yellow large vessel. Wait, so these are large vessels and I could make them look like this by adding dye to them? Really? Yellow. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure all the large vessels... Um, look different, don't they? Oh, yeah, and they actually like change shape depending on which one you make. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. We might, we may do that because that looks really nice compared to just bleh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, cool. Oh, in here, what, what is this? Two fire pits and a nice little spot for the air to come out. That is very nicely done. Or the smoke, I guess. Oh, that's very cool. I like this room. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 Commend this room. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that room. Um, cool. Sweet. Yeah, I, I guess that's the house. I don't think there was a basement. We'll shut the door because it looks cool. 
Um, we already checked around the back of the base. Uh, oh, what is this? It's snow. <laughs> it's snow that's being guarded by some hardened slate. Um, all right, well, we'll head it down this way and see what's waiting for us in the cave. Um, a bit of a bridge, a bit of the rickety bridge to get across. We've got some trapdoors there. Oh, you know what? I have to. <laughs> Listen, hey, at this point, at this point, I have to. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a success. <laughs> All right, what do we have down here? A support? Oh, and it's just holding up the, the cavern. Cool. So nothing, nothing too crazy. I'm guessing maybe there were some ores in here that have been ripped out. Um, regardless, looks nice. Awesome. Um, I think that's this space looked at. Looks like it. All right, I will get back to you on the next one. Ooh. Oh, oh I just realized. I've never actually been close enough to a big body of water with this uh, pack. Oh, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, with this pack. Another thing that this, <laughs> that this mod that I keep talking about is um, there is an ocean. And so I think that's what we're looking at. Maybe that's where all my frames keep going. Because as you can see, I do lose quite a bit of frames. Maybe that's why. Oh, that looks cool. Next up is Ilihutaran's base. That's going to be my guess. Um, and I guess they haven't been here in a while because I believe it is... Um, well, I can't really check. I'm pretty sure it's summer, or, or at least not winter, so we're probably going to get a bunch of uh, snow disappearing, so I'll toggle off my physics, or else there's going to just be particles everywhere demolishing my uh, experience. Um, but there is a path, you, you can sort of see it, hidden beneath the snow that I guess heads out into this direction, closer to the, to the trees, which, pretty smart, I don't know if it goes further, and I'll be honest, I don't even know if it is a path. <laughs> I just, I mean, it looks like it, right? It sort of leads into it. Maybe. Maybe. Um, a beautiful bridge going across a, honestly, a beautiful river. Um, and then we have the house over here. Oh, those doors look nice. And, and before I even click them, hey, I, I, I'm so sorry. Yeah, the, the problem is I, I don't know how to just add every single one at once. I probably have to go into like the actual files. So I'll try to do that at some point. But for now, I'm going to do one at a time. But what? Oh, because, yeah, because I toggled it off. Oh. Suffering. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyway, here's the base. Um, so inside, oh, we've got sandstone. I don't know if we've seen a sandstone uh, base yet. Obviously, it's not the full thing, but there is this corner here with some mysterious... Oh, no, it's, it's attached. I was going to say floating sandstone, but it is... It's attached. Um, the rest of this floor is red sand, so yeah, it's a very sandy base. I guess it is a, like, sandstony biome, so it makes sense uh, to be building with that stuff. Um, and then we have, oh, it's like a little, little balcony part. I'll, I'll shut these doors over here. Um, and we'll head over this direction, I guess. Um, and yeah, this looks, oh, I was going to say it's going to be another bridge, but nope, it actually heads down here. And then I guess that's a quick way to get to water in case you're, uh, you know, dehydrating and whatnot. Oh, I've got to snap that up. That was too beautiful. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's like, yeah, it's, it's involuntary. You know, you look in a direction it's like, I've got to, I need that. I need that screenshot. Um, oh, I just realized the icicles on the bridge. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's very nice. What I will say is, yeah, I was going to say they need like a little bit of some reflections and refractions and stuff, but they look very, very nice. Oh, imagine if you were walking across and you hear a few like falling off. Oh, that'd be, that would honestly be just too, too satisfying. Um, all right. Uh, I will meet you guys at another base. How's this video going? 30 minutes? Uh, I think we've only really looked at two bases though. I'll tell you what. What else do we have? We'll go down. We'll check out Sereni's base. Uh, we were meant to do this a while ago, I think. So here it is. I'm not sure what's in store for us. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. We've got... It's a base. <laughs> um, oh, a massive uh, machine on the roof. It's more of these inversion pillars that I don't know the purpose of. And, and up comes the moon. So we'll be able to see this base glow in all its glory. Um, so yeah, these are massive uh, create windmills, obviously. Just gone vertically up. So they're sort of like... Um, I wouldn't even know what to call call this sort of formation. We've got some uh, some blasting over here for smelting things. You can smelt like stacks at once with this. We're also really chugging over here. <laughs> yeah, coincidentally, when we look there, when we look here, we're fine when we look there. I can try something. If I go in extras and lower these... That might do the trick. How are they? How, how's that? Did that do anything? No. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, I turned off the wrong one. Those were entities. I meant to turn off the tile entities. So I've put those down. And now it's just as bad. 
<laughs> okay, is this a no shader base? This might be partly no shaders. We'll obviously get some good angles of shaders later. But um, yeah, so over here we have obviously uh, mechanical crafting. I mean, there's a lot of crate going on. Ooh, do you think this is actually working? I mean, it must be, right? So I'm guessing deployers here are processing this entire thing. One of them is clearly going to be placing um, the wool on there. And then I'm guessing the other one's going to be collecting um, the the finished product, right? The cloth or the, or, the, or the wool, I guess. And then I don't know if this is... Is this automated? Yeah, it would be. It's, it's quite difficult to automate this, uh, the, the actual crafter, but there's a crafter here. I'm guessing for crushing wheels, which, is that what was back here? Yeah, crushing wheels. Okay, cool. Massive farm. What is this, by the way? Is this all rye? A massive, the biggest field I think I've just ever seen, regardless. Um, the hydration in them is good. They've all got about 29%. They have silty loam farmland, so there's nothing too crazy going on. I don't really know where they're pulling the water from, but they've all got 29%. And then over here, 100. Oh, no, they don't all have 29. It's just the ones over here all have 29. That's very, I don't know, very weird. Um, all right, so the actual house, <laughs> it is made out of alabaster bricks. They look quite nice. It's a nice space. Oh, oh my God, I didn't realize the factory farming that was happening around the back. <laughs> um, all right, we'll, we'll head inside. Um, oh, so in we go. Uh, we've got some, here. We could probably let's see. Can we get a? Uh, uh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Can we get a of shaders in here? See what it looks like. A little bit. Oh, oh, oh. I did. Um. Uh, <laughs> I think they they got themselves with the with the live wires. Um. Anyway, we're just gonna uh, completely. Oh, yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, so so what are these? Um. Demon crystallizers. Demon crucibles. Anvils, grindstones, modification tip. So I've, they've clearly got a mining laser. I mean, they've got an AE system, an applied energistic system. I I could only dream of such a such a system. Um. Okay. Lots of loot. What are these? Blood magic, alchemical reaction chambers. Oh, all right. Bunch of tools over there. There's obviously a ladder up to the roof. End chest. Um. Routing mode. What are these? Input routing node, master routing node. I'm guessing there's some wireless uh, movement you can do with this stuff. It looks, it looks similar to um, laser IO lasers, right? But uh, yeah, hey, hey, looks pretty cool though. <laughs> like I must say, the designs on that, the 3D textures, look very nice. Oh yeah, and then there's another one here, another um, output. Okay, so there's an input node here. An output node here, and then I guess a master node that's controlling both of them. That's pretty cool. I, d I didn't know Blood Magic could even do that. Uh, maybe we've got to jump into Blood Magic earlier than, than I, I would have even planned. Oh, this, this is smart as well. Some central water to do your drinking. And I guess use the, the buckets and whatnot. Um, oh my god. A distillation tower. That looks awesome. Oh, oh, I just realized this whole area actually looks really cool. This is a very industrial, just, machinery. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, that's, yeah, the pipes going around, the scaffolding around the actual structure. It works. It, it honestly really does work. A rocket launch... Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I see where the, uh, where the stuff... Oh, you know what? I think I accidentally... <laughs> I think I toggled on the thing that puts the square moon there. All right, there you go. I fixed it. <laughs> no, no more square moon on top of the beautiful moon. Um, okay, beautiful. So we've got the NASA workbench that I must have just walked past. That thing looks insane. I, I will say I have seen... I don't know if it's the same mod, but I've definitely seen a very similar structure. Oh, how long ago? MC Eternal? I think we went to the moon on MC Eternal. I think that was like the final thing we did. I don't even know if we made it to the moon. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't even remember. But um, that's what we were trying to do. And, I, and we had one of these for a while, I think. Oh, that was a very fun pack. Um, there, I, I mean, there's so much going on. This thing looks very, very cool. Obviously, there's a ladder going all the way to the top. The pipe's going through, integrating with the scaffolding, which is very beautiful. Oh, the scaffolding is part of the multi-block. You're forced to make it look this beautiful. That is awesome. Oh, I, I love nothing more than a mod that forces you to make it look good. You know what I mean? <laughs> like... Like, you're going to have to place blocks regardless. 
Otherwise, it would just be a big tube, which wouldn't look bad. <laughs> but I don't think it would look this good. Um, oh my, oh my god. We're not going to try to understand what we're looking at. We're just going to look at it, okay? We're just going to have a look at the pretty, <laughs> the pretty colors. Uh, I can toggle on night vision. I don't know if that makes things better or worse. Um, but I didn't want to be like changing it to daytime all the time, especially with people on because they're probably going to like starve to death <laughs> with me manipulating the time. If it works that way, I don't really know how it does. So what, um, okay. So the create stuff is just pairing more create stuff. Is that what's, is that what's happening? Shaft going into a rotation speed controller. No, there is an alternator here. So the alternator turns rotational energy into um, forge energy. And so I think this one is strictly to power the ME controller, which is pretty smart because that way if you overload the rest of this system or you run out of fuel or whatever is actually powering the rest of this, if you run out of it, it's not the end of the world. You can still access all of your things that are um, electronically stored inside there. So that's, that's very cool. Um, yeah, I, I think that's most of the base. The actual aesthetic around it is kind of... I mean, it's kind of cool. It almost... There's like an animal here. You can sort of see like an outline of something. Some sort of... I don't know, maybe an elephant with the trunk over there. Maybe a, an elephant with the trunk over there. <laughs> maybe an elephant with the trunk over there. <laughs> you can see I'm quite the creative... Uh, the creatively driven soul over here. Um, now there is another portal. There's obviously this horrific mess back here. Um, and I say we go through. Listen, when you see another portal, there's an opportunity, right? There's I, now I haven't seen the Nether. If this looks incredibly different to vanilla, I will quickly run away. But if it just looks normal, we'll we'll be happy with what we see. Um, but sometimes you do get a base within the Nether. It's rare. It is very very rare. Oh my god. Hey, good way to get your hands on some obsidian. Not a bad idea. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, it looks like the nether. Um, but yeah, sometimes though, sometimes you get like a base a structure on the other side, and it's it's a gamble. You have to you have to put some time in going through the portal just to know whether or not it was worth it. it it's it's like Schrodinger's portal. On the other side of this portal is a base, and not a base. And we don't know which one is actually there until we go through the portal. But if we don't go through the portal, that it's both of them <laughs> until I go through. But that's uh, listen. It's not Schrodinger's portal, but it is in my eyes. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that reference, and I'm gonna get people correcting me. And I'm I don't care. <laughs> All right, cool, sweet. Um, my recording is at 40 minutes, which is a lot for this. I still want to do a normal video today as well. Maybe we'll jump over here see if there's anything else going on in this area. Sometimes I think you teleport underground accidentally. Um, I mean, it looks looks normal. There is whatever this is. Some of this stuff's natural though. Like, I, yeah, I think this is just natural. <laughs> but it looked awfully staircasey. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure there's a mine here somewhere, or or maybe just the prospecting tool found something or maybe it's underground. I know that people are setting up like uh, mob spawners and stuff like mob grinders. So I'm guessing it's possible. There's something under the, I, what am I saying? I can just go spectator mode and we can have a quick little peek under the ground. See if we see anything. Oh God, look at the labyrinth beneath. Um, do we see anything? I mean, we can see ore. There you go. If, you, if you're looking for what looks like sulfur, maybe gold. There it is. Um, uh, I, yeah, I, I don't really see any anything too crazy. What's that down there? Some crying obsidian. Cool. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh. Oh. There you go. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Did any of those have things around them? Maybe those are spawners. No. All right. I'm not sure. I'm I'm, I'm cheating. <laughs> All right. Uh. I think. I think that'll do it for this episode. I know there's a few more bases I have to look at altogether, like, uh, Grumpy Duck. Uh, whose was this? Um, Zihark de Quartz base. Yeah, maybe that's their base down there. Um, and then some of the older bases from the last few episodes. Uh, I'm sure a few of those have changed. Maybe there's a few more bits around. Um, did I say whose base this was? Yes, Rennie's base. Um, cool. So yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, thank you to our channel members. Uh, thank you to our tier three channel members, Andre and Melizzi. Thank you guys uh, a lot. Uh, don't feel pressured, anyone, including them, if they don't want to donate anymore. Don't feel pressured to do any of that. 
um, at all. Don't feel pressured. Watching the video, being a part of the community is amazing. It's, it's honestly amazing. So thank you guys so much. Um, these videos will be coming regardless. That That's the plan. Um, so don't feel, you know, pressured or, or, or anything. Don't even feel, don't, don't, don't even think about it. <laughs> unless you're, you know, unless you're like a millionaire, then, then, you know, hey, 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 what can I say? <laughs> uh, but yeah, genuinely, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully you are enjoying these videos. I, I know the checking out base videos aren't for everyone in terms of sometimes you just want to watch the series you want to see the progression happen um i'm kind of liking what's happening with this checking out base videos series where especially when i'm checking out bases we've seen before that have progressed i think that's really rewarding it, it's almost like it's almost like the normal series you know what i mean you, you get a, you get to actually see some progression i know it's not the same extent i'm not like you know going through everything but it, I, I, it, it, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it is really nice I, I do enjoy seeing it um I'm also hoping that the people whose bases I look at aren't feeling extremely pressured. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh my god, I've got to, I've got to make the base look pretty for the next time he comes, or else, or else he's gonna be disappointed. <laughs> Don't feel pressured to do that as well. But um, but it is, it is really cool. So um, yeah. Thank you guys. Uh, I think that's it for this episode. I, th I think I've said all that needed to be said. Um, yeah. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Um, when you're seeing this video, I'll probably try to get this video out pretty quickly. And then I will also, like, once I finish recording this, I'm going to try to finish the episode I was c recording last night. If you're watching this in the future, this means nothing to you guys. But uh, thank you guys for stopping by. And I'll catch you guys later. Um, but if you're watching this when it comes out, which I think most people do, at least right now, um, there should be another video at normal time tomorrow. So this isn't tomorrow's video. This is the, you know, to make up for the video I missed. Um, because I, I just fell asleep. <laughs> I was like, I started recording and then I started traveling somewhere <laughs> and the travel was exhausting. So I just went to sleep and then I was meant to wake up at like 2 AM. I know, I know, but that's sort of what, what I've been trying to do. Um, but because the previous night was even worse, I, I just, I slept through it. I like woke up and I was like, no, nah, I, I got to sleep. And so I slept a little bit longer and then, and then work and whatnot. Um, but it, but it's, it's on its way because I, I do want to, I was doing something. <laughs> I don't remember what it was, but I'm sure, hopefully I'll remember because I'm running to whatever it is. Uh, anyway, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully. Goodbye.